Hey guys, Jonah here, back with another fantastic beer review. Um, but this one's a beer that I'm not 100% sure where I got it. It's one of those type beers. I know where it's from because it says on the can, but I'm not 100% sure uh, how old it is and where I got it from. It is from Knockout Brewing. I um, don't know if that will focus. Focus, 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 focus. There we go. Knockout Brewing, uh, or Knockout the Art of Brewing uh, from Belfast. And this is called the Citra Pale Ale. Uh, 4%. It's got citra in, obviously. But apparently, if you look over here, it's got some Simcoe, uh, which is pretty cool. Doesn't really say too much about it being from, uh, from Belfast. Oh, from Belfast. Um, there we go. Four uh, percent, small can, all that kind of jazz. This has been chilling out for a while in the fridge because, alas, I've been doing stuff and things have been happening to me. And yeah, been off the beers for a while. You know, I don't want to bring my uh, woes into your household. But thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you want to give me some more love, you want to give me some appreciation, please put a thumbs up to the video. That will really help out. As will leaving a comment down below and all that kind of jazz. It's all good, dear viewer. It's all good. Um, so I'm expecting this to be, well, I know exactly what I'm expecting it to be because Citra and Simcoe, one of those combinations that happens a lot uh, in the pale ale world, um, similar to Citra and Mosaic, which I think is probably the most popular pale ale, at least at the moment. Um, there used to be things like Cascade and Centennial, which I really used to like. But these days, especially in the modern style, uh, Citra, the most well-grown hop in the whole world, um, although it's slightly dipping down, apparently, if certain podcasts are to be believed, um, Citra is taking a bit of a banging. Um, they're not growing so much of it. Um, don't know if that's good or bad. When you're the world's most popular or the world's most grown hop, how about that, um, for professional hop cultivation, um, there's really only one way you can go from being in the top, and that's kind of coming down but I think Citra is going to be there for a while um so there we go uh can art is a bit avant-garde shall we say I don't know why but I've got a, a sort of it looks a bit like a Guinness glass but it but it isn't it's a generic one um and I think I chose a bigger glass today because I was worried um because some of these beers I've had I suspect I've had them quite a while Wow, look at that. Quite a big head. Almost a couple of fingers head. That's going to go. Look at that. Really fluffy big white bubbles. Let me bang this somewhere. Let's bang it on the back of my hand. And that is freeze me hazy. We've got quite a lot of bubbles going. But look, they're, they're definitely going already. You can tell whenever you get large bubbles, dear viewer, they will not hang around for very long. Let's get a nice photo while we're here. Boom. We'll see what we get. So Citra I know very well. Simcoe I know quite well. Is it going to be a juicy pale ale? We shall see. We shall see. Mmm. I'm getting that kind of soapiness. That kind of citra, the aroma, it's kind of more, more lemony. But I know Simcoe usually for me is a kind of orangey or a satsumari type juicy hop. But on the nose, I'm getting sort of a lemon uh, detergent, lemon dish soap, that kind of thing. Not getting so much greenery. Not so much on the on the citra and that kind of says to me um that the citra has been used citra is a dual purpose hop 
you can use it for bittering, but you can also use it for, um, you know, dry hopping and that kind of thing for aroma, maybe a bit of mouthfeel too. Um, whereas Simcoe is also a dual hop, but it's usually used late in the boil and for dry hopping and that kind of thing. Um, as I'm not getting the greenery, I think citra has been used predominantly in the boil. Let's see if it gives anything else away on the back of this thing. Um, water, barley, hops, yeast, round and citrusy. They are not giving anything away, dear viewer. Very kind of, like I said, sort of avant-garde, modern art type artwork on the can. It's always good. Doesn't really say uh, what malts they've used, but I think it's going to be based around a sort of, you know, if not lagery malts. In fact, it smells to me like there's going to be a bit of a chalkiness, a bit of a dextrin perhaps, but it's going to be mainly kind of pale ale malts, obviously. Um, we've got a slight haze. I mean, can't quite see. I wouldn't call it cloudy by any by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not crystal clear, put it that way. Right, let us dive in. I'm expecting it to be juicy, but we shall see. Cheers and beers, dear viewer. Like I say, think about subscribing. Um, help me out. Help a brother out. <laughs> you could always buy me a beer if you want. Yes, and there it is. Wow. There's that juiciness, exactly, exactly how I thought it was going to be. It's that kind of satsumery, that, I mean, it's not quite orange, but it's definitely fruity. Um, I wonder why that didn't come through on the nose. That's so bizarre. Um, but it's definitely that way. It's, it's lemony or lemon citrus on the nose, but it definitely is that juicy kind of Simcoe thing on, on the mouth. Um, in the orange citrus family, it's not quite orange, it's not quite Satsuma. What's the other one? Mandarin could be. Um, yeah, there are other hops that do similar kind of juicy things, but not as well as Simcoe. Uh, Nectaron, Mandarina Bavaria. All those kind of hops do a similar kind of thing. It's that kind of, yeah, that citrus in the orange family, shall we say. I mean, you could say certain types of grapefruit or blood orange and that kind of thing, but they're all citrus fruit, aren't they? Yeah, there is that chalkiness, there is that kind of thing in the background. I sort of say detergenty, but it's that chalkiness, that kind of lemony thing. And it's I, I suspect it's coming from one of the malts used. I'd be very surprised if they haven't put something like um yeah, like a dextrin malt or a pinch of that kind of stuff. Weirdly, there's no uh, oats or uh, wheat in here, as far as I know, from the can. Um, so I'm not getting that creaminess, and it, and it does follow through. I'm definitely not getting that creaminess. I'm getting that definite juiciness that people speak of, um, which is weird because this combination, I've had so many versions of this so many times where it's it has been uh that kind of crossover of cream but then into kind of into a sort of um yeah oaty kind of weird thing and it's really refreshing to have a pale ale that isn't that it's more old school than that this is kind of a west coast pale malt bill but using sort of modern hops or more kind of worldly hops um yeah, and it's nice to have something because a lot of beers tasted like this years ago, like 10, 15 years ago, before people started putting wheat and oats in. Um, and they did a certain degree back those, but not usually in a pale ale. 4%? 4%. 
quite a mellow beer, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm, I've said it before, I'm not the biggest Simcoe fan, to be perfectly honest, but it's really nice to try a beer in a style um, that you haven't had for, for a long time, especially when pale ale um, and certain kind of IPAs, the crossover between the two, all really taste the same or very similar. Um, and it's nice when something is, is different and it triggers something in the memory um, from back in the day. Yeah, not really my thing because of the hops, but I'm really glad to have tried this one. Um, ding, ding, ding. There we go. And it says knockout. Oops. There is another version of this, apparently. So I had a brief look before I started doing the recording um, on untapped. Some people are saying uh, this this version is not the proper knockout version, um, but there are basically two versions of this. There's the Citra Pale Ale that is not the knockout, and then there's the actual knockout one. But as you saw from that back of the can, it definitely says knockout. And that's what I'm going to go with. Dear viewer, Uncle Jonna is doing reviews again. Thank you for coming back. Um, please help the channel out. Give me some love. Give me some thumbs up, all that kind of jazz. And I'll be back with another beer review. And that's going to come up real soon.